Tough morning match. Uh, we came out a little flat. That team has played together for a while. We got checked. It's good to get checked early in a tournament. Uh, it's going to give us some fire to uh, come back the next set and start playing like we should play. When you play against a team that really knows the format well, they know what to do and you don't and you're still figuring things out, things get a little weird. But, you know, we got high caliber players and thankfully we were able to figure a couple things out. And put one down. Lord have mercy, I hope they don't all play that good. tied at first and going back and forth they were playing some really good ball they had a big guy on the right side putting balls away and we didn't have an answer for a bit we figured it out we talked through some defensive strategies we were able to make some adjustments and then we kind of just took off and left them behind so I think it was like 4-4 and we might have won 11-4 um, and I think that's one thing that we do have an advantage of as a team is we have a lot of experience both indoor and beach and like able to make adjustments and then you know Dealey's getting stuff blocks out there and that's going to be big for us we started making our serves more I think that's going to be key trusting our defense we got some baller defenders blocking and playing back row so looking forward to another good match this team that we're about to play next they're also ballers they got lefty on the right JM coming out of the middle so they're coming ready to play and ready to beat us it'll be a good match and this is what? Fud? This is Fud Puckers. Woo! I mean, yeah. This is pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Um, it's kind of like an adult spring break. I've had a great time every single night. I and mean, I've met so many different people and uh, there's a lot of amazing like volleyball community people here. There are so many pros. Yeah, and they're obviously super cool. If you've ever met them, if you haven't, do it. I've been hanging out with, uh, saw D. Lee, um, Wu came out, Jeff Samuels, of course, um, and Rosie. Rosie's a fun one. <laughs> Ed, oh dude, that man is just so down to earth and just uh, so easy to talk to. He's a great guy. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know who David Lee is? David Lee. Yeah. I do not. Have you seen him around? I have not. Have you seen his movies? I have not. Do you like action films? Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed that you haven't, you don't know who I'm talking about. You seen Fast and Furious? Yeah. That's enough. <laughs> I like Indian movies. He likes Indian <laughs> movies. <laughs> Do you know who David Lee is? Oh gosh, no I don't. You haven't seen him on TV before? <laughs> no. Do you guys happen to know who David Lee is? I heard there's a man named... Do you know where David Lee is? Oh yeah, he'll be on court one. That's where he's playing today. 
the Olympic guy. Court one? Yeah. Okay. Court one is all the way by it's the really main court It's really court 18 wall. today, but it's court one. It's court no, one, but, but also 18. It's court, like right yeah. on the big ones. They have the big right wooden by poles, Al. the closest one right by Al's Beach Club. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Do you know who David Lee is? Which David Lee? Um, I mean, that's like one of the most, most common names ever, David Lee. David Lee Roth, like that was a singer, singer, famous songwriter, but David Lee. Yeah. If we were to tell you that David Lee was here, my God, where is he? What which, court is he which on? Which David Lee would you be thinking we're talking about? Yeah. The best one, obviously. Which one is which, that? Which is? Which is whatever one you're going to show is, me. What is their occupation? David Lee's occupation? Yeah. Ooh, if I were to guess David Lee's occupation, it sounds like a CPA to me. I can be in a real mm. CPA vibe. Mm. Yeah. Or, you know, um, maybe professional veterinarian. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, uh, pro... Um, vagabond? No, there's another V word I'm thinking. I'm sorry, guys. Come back to me. I, okay, I, yeah, yeah. We, we won't give it away, but yeah, okay. you were you were almost, you were close oh, a few times. Oh, so close. Maybe next time. Coming together as a team. People are learning their roles, people are doing stuff that they weren't doing day one, and you know, it's just it's synergy, it's flowing, it's good. Really happy right now. One three in a row, and I haven't looked at the bracket to know how many more we've got, but I'm just gonna keep playing until they tell me I can go drink. <laughs> I got no. Carlos, how was your FUDs? It was great. Up, Look at you, dude. You look nice. We just finished day two of FUDs. 
we played a couple good matches. A lot of them were close. Teams battled their asses off trying to beat us. Um, and one of them did. And uh, we ended up losing in the semifinals to a really good team. Cody Caldwell, Evan Corey, and a couple other good players. They just ended up making more plays. We didn't really have an answer for them on defense. Cody Caldwell was teeing off on us, hitting with range, throwing in shots, and we just had a tough time really just digging. But overall, you know, it was an awesome weekend. I had a blast hanging out with all these guys for basically a few weeks. You know, we were in Austin, Texas before this, uh, playing in an event there. Now we came out, took our FUDS team to Florida. We got Ed Ratledge joining the crew. So it's cool to be able to be on a team with all these volleyball legends and then have a great time on top of that. You know, we all had a blast all weekend. Played some good ball. Unfortunately, we ended up losing in the semifinals. So for me, it's like there's some unfinished business. I guess I'll just have to come back to FUDS. Not too upset about it.